What's up, everybody? This is DJ Unprotected, and we've got another review for you. Here's a question. Have you ever produced a song only to export it and then play it on your earbuds, off your phone, or in the car, and realize that it sounds completely different? The answer is probably yes, and it can commonly occur with music professionals. So the solution to this all comes from this software called Reference 4 by Sonarworks. I've been specifically using the Reference 4 Headphone Edition, and I gotta say that I love it. This software is awesome because it gives you a flatline frequency response, so you can know what your music will sound like without boosted frequencies that are usually gifted to you by the headphone companies. Sonarworks has quite the database of headphone calibration profiles, which they have created so that you can use your headphones with their software and get a very close flat frequency response. The Reference 4 comes with system-wide capability, which I'll talk about later, but also as a plugin to be used in your DAW. Let's check out the plugin and look at a calibration profile for my studio headphones. I mostly use the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros, which I will say that they are great headphones for their value, by the way. So this frequency curve contributes to the generic curve of the frequency responses for the HD 280 Pros. There's a boost at 10 kilohertz, a cut around 200 hertz, and a boost at around 60 hertz. So if you were to produce and mix with these headphones, these frequency ranges would be affected. Now let's look at how the reference for calibration is set for the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. First we'll turn on the target frequency which is the red line and is targeted as a completely flat frequency response. Then we'll turn on the after which is the actual frequency response you are getting after the correction is applied to your system. Here's a screenshot of the applied filter, which is the red line, and the before, which is the blue line, to see what frequency corrections are taking place to get a more flat response out of the Sennheiser headphones. And here's one more for the V-Moda M100s. Now let's cover some of my favorite features of the Reference 4 Headphone Edition plug-in in details. And so one of my favorite things right here is you have this calibration profile and it makes it super easy to switch between the different profiles depending on what you're using when you're doing your mixes. So for me, I use a Sennheiser HD 280 Pros when I'm in the studio and when I'm traveling on the road or going to DJ gigs, I bring my V-Moda Crossfade M100s with me. And this makes it really easy to select and change these. So if I'm working on a project in the studio, but then when I'm traveling, I want I'm, I have my V-Modas with me, it makes it easy to change it all within my session without messing up any other parameters. And I think that is really awesome and easy. Then over here you have this option to turn on safe headroom. And what this does is it's going to drastically lower the, vo the output volume so that you don't blow your ears out when you're listening to your mixes. But if that's too low for you, you can just turn that off and adjust it to taste from there. I also appreciate that you have a mono function right here within the plugin since I'm always actively using this. I can turn it on or off to check how my mixes would be in mono. Then you have another neat feature down here, this dry slash wet function, which allows you to kind of hear how it's at 100%. And then as you dial it back, you get to see the original profile of the headphones. I don't use this a lot. It's just pretty interesting to hear the change in the, the music or the response of what you're hearing so, it, so that you know what's being affected. I don't use these two options here. Again, I use this plug-in for the simplicity of being able to get a solid mix while wearing headphones and it offers me that other opportunity to be able to create a mix that's going to sound good on all platforms. And so I don't mess around with this zero latency that's what I keep it on 100% of the time I don't mess with these other two options again for me uh, it's real time I want to be able to turn the plug-in on or off without affecting what I'm listening to other than changing the frequency response that I'm getting I like the easeability and I just want to 
bypasses, turn this on or off, and make sure I'm getting a great sound. What I really appreciate about this company is that they have lots of headphone profiles that you can load, and if you're wondering if your headphones are in their database, you can check out their website and test out your headphone model, and I'll input a link in the description below. So why is this software necessary? Producing on the go, mobile producers, the at the studio has now changed to making beats everywhere. This gives you a baseline reference so you can understand what your music will sound like on all types of listening platforms. There's no way that we can lie about this, that there's a diverse range of listeners. And people are listening to music and podcasts on earbuds, AirPods, over the ear headphones, home pods, smart speakers, in their vehicles, on their mobile devices themselves. So many devices, so many different frequency responses. Here's an example of using the Reference 4 Headphone Edition as a plugin within Logic Pro X as I'm editing a podcast. I insert it on the Stereo Out channel, which gives me the option to bypass or adjust settings as I'm working. This lets me hear adjustments that I'm making at a flat response. Because of zero latency selection, you can see that it seems like there is a delay in the response on the channel meters, but I can ensure you there's no delay on the audio. If you don't want to see the delay, just close out the plugin, but you can keep it activated in the channel strip. I find that bypassing the plugin on and off allows me to really hear the changes I'm making. I also recommend checking out the output function, which is used as a safe headroom. To make sure that you're not playing the sound back at a really loud volume. So check this to make sure that it's at a safe but usable level. There's also a mono switch that I find very helpful. The Sonarworks Reference 4 Headphone Edition also comes with a system wide version other than the plugin. This will play all of your audio through the selected calibration profile. I personally do not use this on my system as I'd rather control the plugin within my music projects. And honestly, I'd probably forget to disable the system wide and would end up listening to music on my studio monitors or with the wrong headphones while the calibration is turned on. And that would not be very helpful. So sometimes I have to protect myself from myself, but this feature is still there if you're interested in that. So who is the Sonarworks reference for headphone edition for? Well, I think it's for DJs, music producers, beat makers, and even audio editors. I highly recommend this software if you fit into these careers, because it is common to use headphones just as much, if not more, than actual studio monitors when editing projects. So let's talk about who this software isn't for. In my opinion, I don't think it's for DJs who only play music at gigs and do not dabble in making mashups edits or original tracks as this software will really help anyone who's into audio editing but not just listening to music. So after having this software for several months, I can say that I am very satisfied with the quality of the mixes that it has been helping me create. So if you're serious about your music career, then I would recommend this for you. There's a free trial so you can test it out. I'll post a link in the description below so you can hear it and get some real ears on experience with the software. It's worth mentioning that I am not affiliated with Sonarworks. I did not get paid to do this. I just enjoy this product and because I've seen the benefits of it that I wanna share it with you because I know that it can help with creating great music and great projects while in the studio. If you enjoyed this video and think it would benefit others, then please help me get in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on notifications. I'm also interested in hearing your thoughts on the Sonarworks Reference 4 Headphone Edition software and it being beneficial to producers and DJs. So please share with me your comments and questions in the comment section down below. I hope you all continue to stay safe. See you in the next video.